everybody, this is uh, Jim at sp500chart.com. It's Sunday afternoon, about 2 o'clock on February 9th, 2020. We're going to take a look at the chart as it stands after the close of trading on Friday, February 7th. Before we do it, I need to remind you as always that the website and the video are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. Can't talk. Financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm also not a professional voice over talent. Instead, I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. Well, it certainly was an interesting week. Um, the previous two weeks we had started to slide down breaking our known lines of support including this gray one right here and a lot of this was sort of um i think made worse by the coronavirus i think maybe even the impeachment stuff had something to do with just some market jitters now to be honest with you nobody um, nobody thought the impeachment would result in a conviction. And, you know, so maybe that wasn't really on the table. But the coronavirus thing, I believe, was. And so anyway, we headed into this past week uh, on some fairly significant weakness. And for the most part, we were up all week long. Um we did finish on a, on a day in which we were down, but just uh, about uh, a half of a percent. And that's after uh, picking up um, more than about 120 points from the lows of the previous week to the highs of this past week. The other thing that happened that was a little bit interesting is we talked about this line being something that if we got over it, we'd probably go ahead and finish our trip up to that 3370 target. We did get over it, but we didn't make 3370 not yet. What's interesting is um, on Tuesday, we bumped up against this line, couldn't get over it. <clears throat> then we gapped over it and looks like it sort of held us on Friday. So the, the question really is, is out, to be honest with you, and I'm not going to try to answer it here because I, I don't think I've got any, any justification for doing so. But, but the question is, are we getting ready to bounce here? Or do, are we just coming back up to take that line out again? We... Uh, but what was the highest we were over that line? Let me see. On Thursday, that was about 33.15. While the markets were 33.45, not quite a percent. Looks like some resistance there at 33.48 or so all day on Thursday. And then we start this little slide down. Now, we've noticed in the past couple of weeks... Uh, that the S&P likes to make these little flags which are consolidation patterns and they have tended to be bullish and it is possible we'll see tomorrow if this is true or not but maybe we're making a little bull flag here that uh, that is a small consolidation before we make that a push up to that 3370 target and of course don't forget we've got our eyes set significantly above that <coughs> there's our 3370 target we also have our 3840 target based upon this humongous um, consolidation pattern here in the form of an inverted head and shoulders. Just to remind you, it is the smaller of the head and shoulders here that is nested. In other words, we've got two head and shoulders patterns that are nested, and it's this one, the smaller one, that gives us our 3370 target, and of course it's the really big one, the behemoth, 
that gives us that 3840 target. So the interesting days ahead. Um, let's just see how, what happens tomorrow. Again, any time anytime you close right on support, I, th I think you have to be open-minded that uh, while the odds might slightly favor a bounce, we all know that trend lines are made to be broken, and this one has broken before. So, I don't know, we'll just have to kind of wait and see. Maybe the futures markets will give us a little bit of an indication. Um, so, but anyway, uh, that said, uh, really the week was, was nice and strong. Like I said, we came up off those lows when we were down around 32.20 or so. And we finished the week up more than 100 points, even with having lost about 18 points on Friday. So it was a great week. Let's just, uh, you know, all I can say is let's see if there's a line um, below us. I think we should probably say it, it, it should act as support. But um, I'm just a little suspicious here of this one, to be honest with you, because you end on it. You really, you really don't know if you are resting on that line because it, there's a heaviness to the market or whether you're just parking there, taking a breather before you move up. I don't think there's any way we can tell yet. Instead, I think we just, we just got to keep our eyes on it. One thing that I, that I sort of failed to point out, I think earlier, um, I think I might have done it in one video, but you know, we previously talked about this possibly being a rising wedge right here. This would be support. That would be resistance. We got above that. But interesting note that when it did break down, remember a rising wedge wants to take you back to where things were before it formed. And if you look right here, that wedge started at 32, at about 32.16. Extend that line on out. And what, where was our low of the week? Or actually the low of the previous week? 32.16. So, you can't make this stuff up. Anyway, look, there is your weekly review video. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Appreciate you taking time out of your weekend to watch it. And I appreciate your support. If you're a subscriber, if you're not, go to sp500chart.com. Check it out. Thanks. Have a great what's left of your weekend. Take care.